Hey everyone, it's Natalie. I'm back in today to do another video. I know I've been doing a lot lately just because I'm catching up on time loss. Um, I want to appreciate or at least tell everyone that I appreciate everyone's comments. I try to get back to everyone and heart you and then get back and try to respond. So thank you for your support, your kind gestures, and your positive outlook on healing journey. So I know um, in my life, I just want to address something because for about an hour, I had 3000 subscribers and all of a sudden now I'm down to subscribers. So I must have said or done or my actions offended somebody. I am a human being. I am 39 years old. I am here by myself during the week. It's just me and my kid. I wanted to cut loose and have two trulies. And because I am a weakling when it comes to alcohol because I never really drink and I have drank on here before, truly here or there. Um, and I always tell you guys, it's tea time, grab your favorite drink, and a lot of you guys join. So, if that offended anyone, as a 39-year-old responsible adult who goes back to work in two weeks to cut loose and barbecue, I have all the freedoms and rights to do so. Was my speech a little slurred at the beginning and was I doing this at first when I started the video and that's because I have bad eyesight on one of my eyes and I have to close one of my eyes to make sure that I'm pushing the right buttons okay that's why it looked like that when I started the live but however during the live I was coherent I made sense and I think what turned some of the people off that may have not agreed with my political views, which I do not go on my channel to do so, and I try to keep government and political issues out, I did go on a rant because I'm tired of seeing my country the way it is. I am a Christian with morals and values. I believe in the guidance of my father. And the way that things are going in the world today, my political stance is that People are sinning and they have mental issues that are not being dealt with properly because the medical establishment is making money off of it, okay? So I apologize as a 39-year-old for having two alcoholic bever beverages while I'm sitting here alone at my house barbecuing by myself. So let's move forward. You can skip all the two minutes and 58 seconds of my rant. So because of that, I lost subscribers. Okay, bye. See ya. You think you think I really care about the subscribers if I reach 3,000? 3, I don't do this for money, honey. So I wanted to come on here and say that the other night when I was cutting loose, that was part of my healing journey, baby. You know why? Because I wasn't sitting around thinking about what happened in the past. I was having a good old-fashioned barbecue having a couple drinks, cutting loose, and living life. And that's what healing's about. Now, I don't promote being an alcoholic or using drugs. I'm just saying that if you're in a spot where you're feeling good and healthy and you can cut loose, that is part of your healing journey. And I am so happy that instead of sitting and being sad, and crying and thinking and reflecting on the past and having that hamster wheel still in my head, paralyzing me from having any enjoyment in my life. I am just so glad that I was able to sit down with my son and his friends, have a campfire, m roast marshmallows, cook ribs, have a couple drinks and have a good old fashioned time with my family and and also his friends that I consider family too okay this is part of healing is enjoying life again and this is what you guys don't understand is that when you see yourself laughing having fun with your kids and their friends and you're barbecuing and you're just having the grand old time that right there shows you that you are healing from trauma that has blocked you from having that fun. And so 
I'm not upset or anything. As a matter of fact, one guy said, are you okay? Because at the beginning I was doing this, trying to figure out if I was live or not. Um, I responded back and just said, hey, no, you know, you know, like, I'm just cutting loose, having fun. And I was like, do you think I should delete the post? And he's like, no, keep it up. Keep it up. Show your real life. The politics you're talking about is a problem. You know? So I kept it up. Because I'm not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed to go live and have a good time and show y'all my healing journey. And show y'all how life should look like. I want this for you. I don't want you to be stuck in your house constantly thinking about things that really don't matter. You're making it matter. You're putting your marriage on the back burner so you can figure out how to satisfy people that you will never satisfy. And that's the truth. No matter what you say or do, will they ever accept you or love you and welcome you into that family? And you got to get over it. The sooner you get over it, the sooner you can start healing. And you can start enjoying those moments that I had when I was on live. Maybe I made a fool of myself. But you know what? I made a fool of myself and I was having fun. And I felt healed. And I felt like, damn, I have been missing this. I've been stuck in this repetitive cycle of abuse and neglect and un unwilling uh, 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 no love shown and and constantly thinking about it and i finally got to the point where i could cut loose and i missed that and that's what you're missing is you just cutting loose having a good old time and enjoying life again it's part of the healing it's okay if you make a fool of yourself you know why? Because you're not thinking about the past anymore. You're thinking about the good times that you're having right then and there in the present. All you do is think about the past. When is it going to end? When are you going to be able to go back to the person that you were once before all of this shenanigans started? I'd rather look like a fool than be stuck in a hamster wheel. Spinning and spinning and thinking and thinking and crying and being sad and depressed and having anxiety and thinking that nothing's ever going to change. Well, you can make the change. You are change. Once you realize that you can make that difference, you can make that change, you can make your life happy again, is the moment that you step back into the shoes that you were wearing before you got abused and you start making your life better. And I'm sorry if I seem a little angry in this video, but I was there and it sucks. And I want you to be where I am. And it's going to take time. It's not going to take overnight. But it's baby steps. It's these little things. Even in those moments that you're thinking of something that you shouldn't be thinking about anymore because it's past trauma. Go find something and cut loose. Go on a walk. Talk to an old friend. But don't talk to her about the abuse. You need to stay away from talking about this abuse to other people that are in your life because they get tired of hearing it. And this is the reason why people avoid you and you lose friends because they have given you advice so many times throughout the years and you haven't taken it. You know why you didn't take it? Because you just kept trying to see if you could fix the situation. And you didn't listen to those friends or those family members. Because in your head, you thought, well, I know how to fix people. You can't fix these people. See, empaths think we can fix everyone. But the truth is, you can't fix everybody. You can't save the world. We are built different. Those people... You know what their real problem is? Is they're jealous of you. They want to be you. And that's why 
they do this thing where they switch roles with you. They start having interest in the things you have interest in, or they take over mommy duties, or they do things like uh, dye their hair like you, or dress like you, or or do things like that, and try to act like you're like they're you and you're them, so they can go back to their friends and say that you are them and they are you because they're jealous of you they don't know how to have that compassion and love and empathy that you have it was never taught to them because they were they were raised by abusive people see narcissists make narcissists that's the truth and so when you make a narcissist they don't know how to change because this is who their personality has been for ever. So if you think you can come in and change someone, uh, uh, you're wrong. You're not going to change them. So the only thing you can do is stay away from them and live your life and cut loose and go back to the way you were before you met them. This is reality. They want to be you. They can't be you. So what do they do? They shame, blame, gaslight, and then when I, whenever they see you walking away and distancing yourself from that, what do they do? They come around, they love bomb you, and they hoover you, and they pretend to be someone that they're not for short periods of time to get their grips back onto you. And once they do that, guess what? All that healing that you've been doing, all those baby steps that you've been doing, guess what? It's all wiped clean and you have to start back over because they tricked you. They tricked you. My son just came in with his friends, so I have to end this video. But listen to me when I tell you this. They want to be you. That is why they are jealous of the relationship and the love and compassion you have for their son because they've never had it for their very own child. And this is also why it's hard to get their child away from you because their child loves you because they've never gotten what they're getting from you from their parent and this is also why the parent comes in and tries to take the child from you because they don't want them to see what a kind considerate person looks like this is why they try to push you out of the family because they want the domain of them they want to make sure that they don't see the reality that they were horrible horrible parents abusive parents all right peace love harmony see you guys later